This is Sila. Sila is a flavoring water water bottle, so it flavors your water with some very good tasting uh, flavors. And the interesting part is it's not like the other companies. Now I'll get to that in a bit, but here's the box. I already opened it up in one of my shorts. And here, obviously, like I showed you, is the water bottle. So how it works is it flavors the water with these cartridge pods. Like, for example, you see this is Sela Fruit Punch. I was sent the Sela 12 starter kit, and it is it, it is awesome. Like, thank you so much to um, the people over at Sela for sending this to me. And just so you guys know, this is um, my full opinion. I am not... Um, I'm not affected by Sela in any way. They are not telling me to say good things about their product. This is a completely honest review. So, for example, how you see, um, these are the instructions. It says flip pod sealer, uh, remove pod seal, insert pod flat, arrow up, facing down, flip pod keeper up, uh, push rod to starting line. So, I'll show you how to do that right now. So, I've already used completely all the stuff out of this one, but I'll act like um, this is brand new. So, see, you see the arrow right here. You push that up. And then after you push it up, you pull, the, you pull this down all the way, and then shove this up, and then push this up to the starting line. The starting line is right there, but since this is pretty much um, all gone, I have it pushed up all the way up here. And what effectively that does is when you shut this, you push this up and it injects the flavor into the water. Now, I've actually been loving my Sela. I actually only have like five flavors left. These are four and I have one more flavor in the bottle right now, which I really like, crisp green apple. And so I've been drinking this thing a lot. And here are some of the things that I would like to point out. So this has definitely made me drink a lot more water. I didn't realize it at first because I just I, I just thought this was pretty small. Like, I thought it was. I kept filling it up and drinking it all, filling it up, drinking it all, filling it up. And I'm like, man, this thing's small. It doesn't keep the water that much. But then I had to keep using the bathroom. And I realized that I was actually drinking a lot of water. Um, so I was drinking a bunch of water, way more than my normal amount. And it actually kept me very hydrated. And I'm prone to headaches because I just don't drink enough water usually. But this actually caused me to not really get much headaches, and um, it really, it, it was really nice. Also, a lot of people complain about the flavoring with Sela. I've seen reviews how people say, uh, it doesn't taste very good. Well, let me talk about that. Now, how I told you earlier how this is different from other companies. Well, it is, because other companies use sugar, and sugar harms your um, teeth. It harms your teeth, and also other companies also use artificial flavors, artificial colors, artificial sweeteners. They use all these types of things. But Sela doesn't do any of that. They actually use a natural flavor, which is Stevia. And Stevia has a lot of good benefits. Like, first off, Stevia does not harm your teeth at all. So, you can drink this while going to bed, and this will not give you any cavities. This, um, this actually helps your body it's it doesn't affect your blood sugar levels or anything so stevia is a good alternative to sugar there are some problems like for example i heard some people say that it hurts their stomachs a bit and i i didn't really encounter that that much i did some my stomach did hurt some of the time but i don't know if it was from that or if i was just thinking about it but yeah so it tastes really good and stevia has its own unique taste with sugar and artificial flavors, what you do is you drink you drink it and you taste all of a sudden sweetness. But stevia has a unique aftertaste. Stevia is like has an all of a sudden punch of flavor, which I really like. I'm actually a big fan of stevia. I really like stevia. I've heard a lot of people don't like stevia for some reason, but I'm actually one to like stevia. So um, if you like stevia then this is definitely for you. Now let's talk about injecting the flavor. Well, you see here it says create your own beverage on the go, and it says light, fa f light flavor, one click, full flavor, two clicks, bold flavor, three clicks. And I found myself um, doing about one click, maybe even just half a click, because two clicks and three clicks were just too much flavor for me. I prefer more, more of a taste of water and less of a sugary taste. 
The cool thing, as you see down here, it says one pod makes up 12 lightly flavored bottles or six full flavored waters, which uh, water bottles. So I think that's really good. That means each pod will last you a long time. And there are some different flavors in here. So you may look at it and you think they're all going to be pretty much the same other than the flavor. But some of them are unsweetened and some of them are have electrolytes and some of them are sweetened. And some of them, like this one right here, Berry Blast, it has caffeine. So there are a lot of different types. Out of all the ones uh, that I've tried, I really prefer just the sweetened kind. So I've tried strawberry lemonade, I've tried lemonade, I've tried um, crisp green apple. Uh, they were all really good. But then I tried a pineapple, and I made the mistake of not reading the label, and it's actually pineapple unsweetened. And I tried it, and yeah, I did not like that. I, I did not like that, but um, some people might like unsweetened pineapple, but that was not for me, I'll tell you that. So there are a lot of good benefits to Sela. Like, for example, you, you're you able to push the flavor up on the go, really nice. It has a very nice design. Um, also, the 12 Kit Starter Pack, you get a lot of flavor uh, flavors. It doesn't harm your teeth, there's no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, no artificial sweeteners, no um, no calories, no sugar. Um, it la they last a long time. It makes your water taste good, even if your water normally doesn't taste good on its own. It'll make you drink more water. There's so many pros to this, but now let's talk about the cons. One con is that you have to have both cartridges in at the same time. I forgot to mention, there are two cartridges. You can have two flavors and mix them together. You have one flavor over here and another flavor over here, both with their own push-up thing. And the problem with that is, if you don't have one in one of the compartments, water will spill out of your drink. Water will spill out of your drink because there's actually, when you don't have a flavor in somewhere, there's a hole there. You see that? You see that hole up there? Right there? Well, with that hole, that means when nothing is blocking the hole and you try to drink, the water will come out of here and then spill out of here. Even if, even if this is shut, the water will come leaking out. So you have to have two flavor pods in at a, at a um, at the same time all the time, which can be quite annoying. Another thing is I just wish it was made out of less plastic. It's just so much plastic, and it seems like it would be way nicer if it was made out of some kind of metal or some, time, some kind of aluminum. But no, it's just made out of, out of pure plastic, and um, yeah. Just some kind of insulation or some kind of thing that can hold the coldness and hold the heat inside your drink would be really nice. Also, it's really hard to clean. I've had to hand clean this all the time, and it's it just doesn't seem like it would be good to put in the dishwasher. I'm not sure if it is, but it just doesn't seem like it would be good to put in the dishwasher based off how it's designed. It's just kind of, it's kind of hard to clean. Another thing I really don't like is that when you inject the flavor, you may have overflavored your water by accident. You may have overflavored it, but the problem with that is that now... Just tons of that stuff went into your water, and you're likely going to waste it. It's stuck in the water. You can't get it out of the water. I wish there's some way that you couldn't over-flavor the water. I wish, like how Circle and other brands, that you can just twist the knob, and it'll only put the flavor up, like, at the top. But doing this, it injects it directly into the water, so then if you over-flavored it, well, then you'll have to pour it out, fill it back up, and then try not to over-flavor it. Other than that, it's actually a really nice water bottle. I really do like this water bottle. I found myself using it a lot. It's awesome. And the people at Sela were very nice sending this my way. They were very nice. They even sent me a nice little um, card saying uh, thank you on it. Well, I say thank you back. And uh, yeah, it, it's a really, really nice water bottle. I just, maybe in the future, I hope they release like a V2. And I would be... I would be more than happy to test out the newer version, maybe hopefully with a little bit different design, um, maybe bigger insides, not push-up, and um, maybe made out of aluminum or something. I, I don't know, it, but I really do enjoy this. This is a very nice water bottle, and I've never tried a flavoring water bottle before, and this, is, this was really good. I was genuinely surprised on how good water tasted after this. It felt like I was drinking juice a lot of the times, and... It was, it was really nice. So, thanks for watching. If you want to buy one of these, and I definitely recommend you should, you can type in Fuchs15 in the checkout, and that'll get you 15% off your Sela bottle. So, here's the Sela website, and it shows all the things that I told you, talked to you about. And here are all their water bottles, and they have different colors. I was sent the white one, but there's a bunch of different colors, and there's a bunch of different uh, flavor 
flavorings. And the water bottle, honestly, is not that uh, expensive. Like, if you come look at it, um, it's really not that expensive. And it gives you all the steps down here. It gives you all the pods. And um, there's vo you can vote monthly for the new Asila flavor, which I think is really, really cool. And it has a bunch of good reviews, so I definitely recommend uh, checking out their website, drinksila.com. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and goodbye.